Hey guys, comment looker here. Welcome you guys back to Let's Skim Dwarf Fortress. Last time, since last time, I've added all these buildings all over here, so that it was a bit of a, 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 I can't talk fast. Sorry. Uh, I have uh, set up the beds and the uh, dining rooms, as I probably already described what the purposes are. Um, the doors are all set up, so it's nice and pretty, and it's easy to uh, size the room to just be the entire room without having the bed to the center. I want to have the beds right near the uh, staircase. That way I can uh, have on the floor right above them workshops and I'll have the workshops in some kind of pattern such that uh, everybody has access to whatever they need including food and alcohol and stuff. Maybe every five guys, every five workshops down here you'll find another cooking chef and everybody will be putting their stuff in a stockpile way up here that will cause everybody to have to uh, get out into the sun in order to get what they need. So that, that'll prevent cave adaption I hope. Um, and it'll also make it so they don't have to walk as much to get their things or put them in stockpiles or both. Um, I've also, I'm also going to add lots of uh, chests and stuff for people to put their clothing in. That way they don't leave it lying all over the fortress and so they can just put it in there. And also don't leave it on top of doors preventing me from locking them. I like to be able to lock doors. That way if someone goes crazy and they like to go into their house for some strange reason. Which, that's what crazy a lot of crazy people do for some reason. They like to go to their house and go into bed and then get confused and try to leave again. Uh, I can lock them in. If they starve to death, nobody will be all, uh, notice because they're locked in a room and nobody can see them. It's a little bit easier that way. Um, what else? There also, I've added a lot of entrances so that people can go in and out very easily. Um, I may as well mention that I'm at, at each of these corners, the top. this is the top left corner, top bottom, all of them. I'm go top bottom, top right. I'm going to have um, traders so that... If the uh, merchants decide that they want to go through uh, this entrance, they just go up here, and there's there's going to be a trade depot here, and the guy can just go there. Everything will be easy. Also, if this guy for some reason is incapacitated, rather because he's dead or because he is uh, tired, doesn't want to work that time, then I can just send someone else to go there anyways. Uh, there will actually be two entrances for each one of these, and you guys can already see this is a weird stair thing because that's where part of the trade depot is going to be but I think I already mentioned that it's going to be a platinum depot uh, what else we are not going to be able to have any turtles I've discovered because even though we have turtle eggs we do not have a male turtle which is apparently required in order to have a turtle egg hatch we could um, technically run into a, tr a trader who may want to give it to us like elves may have uh, turtles but I highly doubt it uh, we also can't run into natural turtles because I've already looked and there have not been any natural turtles so that's incredibly frustrating. Uh, Cape Freckle does might be able to hatch someday in the future. And that's about that. I guess I could try to memory hack the game. But that would require effort since I don't know how to work uh, memory hacks. And also it would require cheating. Uh, I also added a lot more to this area. A lot more uh, cages and stuff. And that was made possible by having lots of uh, immigrants who are now working as mechanists. And I also have lots of, um, of immigrants working as uh, furniture makers. Wooden furniture makers. I also have two masons working there. Um... So I caught a lot of giant capybaras, but giant capybaras cannot be tamed unless you have a dungeon master, and we do not have a dungeon master. We cannot get a dungeon master. We cannot get a dungeon master. So that's a bit of a shame, and by a bit of a shame, I mean quite a shame. But we also went and did our second uh, cutting tree cycle over here, as you may be able to tell. We're almost done with the second cutting cycle. I was also able to block off any future capybaras' attacks, and the capybaras that did get in uh, were attacked themselves before they could do anything. So there is no dwarven injury going on, just capybara injury. Oh, we also, speaking of uh, thingamajigs, we ran into snail men up, way up here, and uh, I don't think we can harvest any shells from them in place of the turtle shells, because they are men, and they are of some level of sentience, and that is good enough for the dwarves to not butcher them. I think that maybe if we have a uh, very lucky fighter slice off the shell of one of these guys instead of killing it immediately, we might be able to pick the shell up and uh, use that to... Uh, do artifacts and crafts and stuff, but uh, aside from that, I don't really th think I see us getting very many shells in the future, if any at all. And uh, that's a crying shame. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I may as well show. Uh, we now have a population of 35. I'll actually show you guys the dwarves. Here are the various dwarves doing various labors, too. You can see the labors, it's pretty useless. Oh, well, we have tons of giant capybaras and capybaras, and our, uh, panned died of starvation. It's a shame. But! Now we have another cage. Think about the bright side. Look, always look on the bright side of life, or whatever the song goes. Um, 
I think that's really about all that's new to the fortress. Oh yeah, and we do have a flourishing uh, trade thing already, even though we have yet to uh, instantiate the uh, four corner trade system. So we will, uh, or we're able to trade lavish meals that we produce pretty quickly right now. Now that we, uh, with our excellent chef and our excellent at stacking alcohol bartender, and uh, we're actually able to import lots of really nice things like platinum. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Or actually, I won't because I'm going to be deleting the save file here. Actually, that's a total lie. I'm not going to delete this. But I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No, I probably didn't. I'm sorry.